Well, you know, don't be afraid of a little length. Don't be afraid. It ain't gonna hurt you. It won't bite. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Candice Marie and I'm back with another video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. As you can see from the title, it is going to be a wig review over the Altre Crystal Wig in the color 2T30. Super excited to be telling you all about this wig, so if you want to learn more, just keep on watching. So here is the box in the stock card. As you can see, it tells all of the product features. It also it has a care guide on the back of a stock card and a step by step if you all are still learning how you know slay your wigs, no worries. As I mentioned before, this is the 2T30 color right out of the pack. I love the color and the vibrance of it. Let me go ahead and get into the cap construction for you all. It comes with two combs in the front. Full lace in the front and also it comes with a comb in the back with adjustable straps and it also comes with this super breathable stretchy mesh cap I really do like that right here I'm just showing y'all how it looks without any customization as you can see hunty child that ear to ear lace is laying hunty i really do like that it has the ear to ear lace definitely big head friendly and i think it has a lot to do with that mesh cap because it's easily stretchable and i am so excited to cut this lace and get into this layage I do want to mention that if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's down below. It's free. doesn't cost you a thing. Go ahead and follow my YouTube journey as we go into 2020. I will be bringing you more videos, wig reviews, travel, and also lifestyle. So don't miss a video. Just subscribe. It's free, you know. Okay y'all, so in this clip, I was just trying to play around with it just to see if I could do an updo like the one the model had on the stock card, but because I wasn't gluing the wig down, I just went with a natural part on the side, you know, Jillianese vibe. It's not really a true part, but it's a little flip over. I just opted with that because just for the sake of the video, just to save time, and then I added some um, powder on the front of the lace just to make it a little bit more natural and that was pretty much it for the customization of the wig super easy super flexible and if you want to opt for like half up half down or two pigtails in the front you definitely could do that all right y'all so this is a finished look on crystal and my I say <laughs> hold on I have had this wig in my stash since I think June and if I knew she was gonna slay like this I would have been brought her out like I mean I, f I feel like a new woman see this is how you are supposed to feel when you put on a, a new wig okay you are supposed to feel like somebody brand new like y'all did not know me okay it's crystal, it's, it's a K2. I mean, this wig was made for me. I cannot believe how much I love this wig and it was literally sitting in my closet. <sighs> I'm mad at myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all an official 360. So this is one side, this is the back, and this is the other side. Um, you can Put it different ways put it in different parts um and so i definitely think i want to experiment with doing like a half up half down style and doing a middle part but i love this like effortless side thing going on like this is giving me like you know jillianese you know kind of britney renner but more jillianese because she has the blonde but you know just that effortless like let me just flip it over let me see let me just flip it over like it's just so 
pretty. So since I went over all the details in the voiceover part, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the pros and cons. Let me know down below if you all like for me to do the voiceover and then do the pros and cons, or if you would like me to do a kind of all together um, with the details and kind of my thoughts on it. I just wanna keep you all, you know, engaged. So let me know down below which kind of style you prefer. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pros. So pros, let's get into this T, what is this, 2T30? I've never seen a 2T30 like this. I love the highlights in it. The highlights, the dark back here, I mean, it just gives so much, so much life. Like I'm getting Beyonce, let's get a formation, okay? Single lady, let's go. I mean, y'all, I'm really, like super excited right now but it's it's just because i can't believe how nice this wig is so the highlights are cute this is one of the most big head friendly synthetic wigs i've ever had in my life it's so much room outre so now that we know y'all know how to make big head friendly wigs you know i'm gonna need more of that because this wig right here it's ear to ear. I don't have it glued down because I'm not doing all that right now. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm not gluing it down. <laughs> um, but it's ear to ear. I feel super comfortable in it. I have a wig grip on. And I mean the technology in this wig cam, what kind of what kind of sorcery y'all got going on here? Because the way it stretches, what where where has this where has this technology been? I know it's a couple months since I was supposed to review it, but I'm gonna need this type of technology on all the wigs because I mean, y'all saw in the clip, it was so stretchy and I think that's what makes it more big head friendly. The hairline also is very realistic. I just put a little bit of powder in the front, nothing major, but even before I put the powder, it looks like it was growing out of my scalp because like it was so transparent right here. The lace is good, very, very soft and you know, with synthetic wigs, you're going to have it, you know, touching your face and it's going to shed. You know, just don't cook with it on because we don't need uh, synthetic hairs in the yams. We don't need it in the baked mac and cheese. We don't need none of that. So take it off. Cook. Clean up. Do what you got to do. This unit is super long. I'm 5'7 and it comes to my hip bone. That's probably 28 inches, 30 inches. It's, it's half my body length. I can't even believe I'm wearing a wig half my body length right now, but it's half my body length, basically, almost. I think I am gonna trim it a little bit, maybe. You know, trimming synthetic wigs is a little risky, but I think it still will look really pretty at just a shorter length and it would be a little bit more manageable. Y'all, mm, I just, I mean, I can't stop looking at how good it looks. I am amazed. And now, I'm gonna have to shut it down. I'm gonna have to shut the end of 2019 down with crystal, okay? Mm. Y'all, I don't know what's up with this year, but I have been getting low-key lucky with synthetic wigs this year. Like, I haven't had many that I've had to just be like, what, what is going on here? Like, these synthetic wigs of 2019 have been coming up, and you know, I'm ready for 2020. Let's see what's, let's see what type of technology we got in 2020, okay? Okay, so if you can't already tell, I totally recommend this unit, and I would even check it out in a couple of other colors as well. Let me know down below what type of colors you're trying out this winter season. You know, we doing short, we doing long. Let me know, let me know. Don't forget to share this video with someone who you think would slay this unit. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.